It's indeed a great pleasure to be with you at this such a wonderful event. Thank you very much, Anurag. And this is one and all the friends here. You know, the security guards come on this last. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> to make arrangement. Uh, it's a great pleasure, really. I mean, this is being a uh, person speaking at this stage about my book, The Good Actors. The book is about a journey of the private security industry, which was just fragmented a few years ago, and circumstances so happened that we all got together because the government of India decided to regulate us. And that was in 2005 that the Private Security Agency Regulation Act was announced, and it was hurriedly drafted. We were part of that. And the government said that every private security agency must be licensed and every security guard must be trained. So it was a huge thing to happen and all of a sudden we all ex fogies ex-police people who were running the small resettlement project in our own way, you know, the license became a very big challenge for us. And then the training. So the journey started with the formulation of Central Association of Private Security Industry, which is now is called CAPSI. Now this is a story. Since morning, you know, everybody was saying that you should write a story in this, you should know the story, you can also write a story. The protector is a story of an association. It is a long journey. And how it started absolutely in a such a manner which was totally unexpected, which is mentioned in their chapter number one, a bolt from the blue. I mean, says all of a sudden that we were running, having a nice business. One day, one journalist, he called one of my friends, he said, the left-hand corner of Delhi is going to ban your business. We were coming under the Contract Labor Act. And this decided to abolish it. And it was happened all those in the afternoon time. And the journalist was from Times of India. And I you know, got such a shock in my life because this was a second career after coming out of the army. I met with an accident, came out of the army, and started a small security agency. Around about five, six hundred people. But you come to know that it is going to be abolished. It was such a shock. But that is a story. I managed to bring some of my friends to my office, whom I never met before. They were all my competitors. And we decided what to do. Not from that day. It became a continuous struggle for all of us. Then the regulation, then the training part of it, meeting the government, trying to bring some changes in the whole business. And today, ladies and gentlemen, this industry, we have one crore security guard working in India. One crore. We are largest in the world largest in the world and we enjoy a huge reputation. In that process, how we kill one crore of people, how we managed to structure our association from a centralized organization to a federal one, how we went to various kind of states to create those state chapters, whom we met, how we convinced those people, what we brought them travel opposite to the table and what kind of aspiration I thought that we work together and bring all those, their aspirations, their aims, their objective and their financial step security. Now this was a very big challenge to set up state chapters in every state 
because the Private Security Agency Regulation Act was a federal act, but it was to be governed by the state. Security is a state subject. So in every state, the government appointed a controlling authority that is almost a DGP of the police. Now bringing those two together, the police people and the security people, and creating those nice working environment, and make sure that governance is very done properly. It took us all the time. It's all the time, and now this is a, it is a, it was a great experience to uh, go pan India, meeting people, convincing them, showing them the way that if you do not work like this, what will happen? And the government, in the central government also, with the Ministry of Home Affairs, Labour, all that. It is a, it is a big story. I would say every chapter is a is a big story itself. How how we conducted, how we managed to bring uh, almost you know uh, five to six hundred people every year for our national purpose. People spend about about sixty thousand rupees to come to Delhi. It became a, such a close, well knit family that we call it a band of brotherhood. So every year we meet and all. So this is the one long story about it until the COVID came. That was a turning point absolutely for all of us. And turning point that the government declared a lockout. When the government declared the lockout, the entire establishment was closed. Factory band ho gay, daftar band ho gay, colonies close ho gay, and I met the Home Minister. I said, look, your police is now trying to, you know, enforce the lockout. And the community safety has taken a back foot. If you have all lockout kar diya, security agencies bhi band ho gayi, to in logo ko kon bachayega? Then the next day, the Home Minister, the Home Secretary, they took a decision to declare us as essential service. When they did to declare us essential services, Ladies and gentlemen, we being on the army, most of the people are, we know how to manage the crisis. We got together, we created special, you know, SOPs to deal with the COVID situation, which was totally new to us to deal with this kind of huge challenge. To create those SOPs, how we managed to bring these people together, and how I managed to, you know, there was a total panic. Offices band ho gay, and security card you know, they started running away, they said, Kahan se main khai nahi milegi. Agar factory band ho gay, or aapki offices band ho gay, who is going to pay me? And that created all the difference in our thought process. How we managed to convince the labor minister, home minister, manage their finances, where will they get the money from, how we managed to convince a security guard not to run away from your uh, uh, post and factories. That are all factories. People were running away. So, when they were standing there, when they were giving food or money, so it was all Capsi's Capsi's effort. We evolved those methodologies, how to go about it. कैसे लोगों को खाना भी मिलेगा इसको कैसे दवाइयां भी देंगे इनको वहां सुरक्षा कैसे रखी जाएगी तो दैट वाज ए ग्रेट अचीवमेंट टू बी डिक्लेयर एज एसेंशियल सर्विसेज लेट इट जेंटमैन द होम मिनिस्टर दे ही पेड अ वंडरफुल ट्रिब्यूट ही सेड ड्यूरिंग द कोविड टाइम आई हैव सीन ओनली टू पीपल ऑन द रोड एक तो आपके सिक्योरिटी गार्ड होते थे और एक वो खाना पहुंचाने वाले होते थे पूरी कोविड में we created the best situation, security situation in the country. So, ये सारी कहानी उसी के बारे में है और उसी को ही लेके हम सबको बताना चाहते हैं कि ये security की जो industry अभी एक रोल की अगर हो गई है, तो वो ये सारी की सारी आपकी ज़िंदगी के साथ लगी हुई है। जान है तो जहान है। अगर आप किसी सिक्योर एनवायरनमेंट अगर 10 ट्रिलियन सिक्योर आपने इकोनॉमी बनना है तो मेक श्योर दैट योर एनवायरनमेंट्स आर सिक्योर योर लाइफ इज सिक्योर योर इन्वेस्टमेंट इन वेरियस ऑपरेशंस आर सिक्योर हु विल सिक्योर इट इट इज योर सिक्योरिटी पॉलिसीज हु यू सेलेक्ट फॉर योर 
security protection systems. So we have evolved all those things which will you will read in uh, uh, this my book. So this is basically a great tribute to the people those who worked uh, during the COVID time also, and all those who supported us. A whole big story. I think you will enjoy reading it. It is give you a lot of lot of good stories also. Thank you very much.